pretty irregular summer day. Not every day is like this. Hold on, we gotta take it back a little bit. There we go. What's up guys, I'm Nessu Namo and this is my summer edition of a day in the life of an MIT student. After I wake up and say a little prayer, my morning routine consists of the usual taking a shower, brushing my teeth and then getting dressed. I like to start my day off with a bowl of oatmeal to which I add a life-threatening amount of peanut butter. I also like to check email or just watch a YouTube video while I eat. I then grab snacks, lunch and my laptop and I'm pretty much good to go. So that is pretty much my morning routine. It took a lot longer than usual but I have flexible work hours so it's not too much of a problem. But with that, I guess I can show you a little bit of the house. I'm staying in Theta Kai for the summer and then we can head to work. Living in a frat house is great because you build this little community that you can goof off and chill with after work and it's also much more cost effective than living on campus. This is a bike that I got at a next house auction that I've been fixing. It's still kind of busted up but it gets me places. I'm living on the Boston side of the river so I have to take a 10 minute bike ride across Harvard Bridge to get to the east side of campus. The weather is pleasant and the scenery never gets old, so the bike ride is a part of my daily routine that I really enjoy. We've got lots of people touring campus and it's always pleasant to see campus active even during the summer. I like to get to work a little after 10, but I also have the option to work remote, so time isn't really an issue. So here we've got this little outdoor space on the east side of campus. We've got MIT Medical in front of me, Sloan Business School on that end, Site 4, the graduate housing, and obviously the Office of Innovation behind me. Uh, okay, because of that tree, you can't see it, but you'll see it, you'll see it. This is me trying to get a thumbnail for the video. I figured I would put this in the video as well. So on the first and second floor, we've got our welcome center and MIT admissions. And on the third floor going upwards, we've got all our innovation and entrepreneurship centered organizations which I'll tell you more about in a little bit. Our innovation building is designed as a space for open collaboration in which members of the community can work together or even host events. It is also home to our Office of Innovation, MIT Sandbox, MIT Legatum, Venture Mentoring Services, and other innovation-related orgs. This is the third floor of the ISQ, so there's pretty much open space. Here with my CC bro, Theo, he's about to show me the voxel space. Well, so you, the boss of the space, along with me. So yeah, let's go. So here we are. This is um, the prototyping lab, Voxel. And um, we got a bunch of stuff in here. We got some people working on clothing stuff, as you can see. We have sewing machines. We have stuff for digital art and digital uh, That's kind manufacturing. Of nice. yeah. We have woodworking, so it's made with a bandsaw. Um, we have more workstations for 3D stuff, um, and then over here is like the music electronics lab, so this is a modular synthesizer, um, and these are some other like synthesis tools. Over here we have the EE section where we have a bunch of electrical supplies, um, DC power supplies, oscilloscopes, all that stuff. You can see people are working on various things here. It looks like someone's working with the modifying a synthesizer of some sort. And That's then cool. uh, we got laser cutter. This isn't up and running yet, but that'll be online in a little bit. Um, yeah, so that's, that's kind of what we're up to. Bye, appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. Bad. Yeah, so I'm still on the third floor of the ISQ. I just bumped into Franklin. Hey guys. Franklin has his own YouTube channel. You know I do, that? yes. Yeah. I make mostly like college related content as well. Valid, valid. What you up to over the summer? Um, so I'm working an internship at uh, BIDMC in Boston. 
uh, working on sustainability. Sweet. Uh, hi, I'm Raphael. What? What you, what you up to every summer? Uh, I'm doing a year up for a chemical engineering group, but it's computational because I'm course six. Sick. Very cool. Yeah, out here just bumped into my boys, Raphael and Franklin. I'll see you guys later. Yes. This is me with my two left feet, just vibing, just messing around as I warm up the food I meal prepped. So it's about 12, I think. Yeah, it's about 12, 10 now. As you can see, I have done zero work. I mean, it is the summer, right? Um, pretty much just had one meeting. I'm about to head out to Kendall to eat with Theo because he told me that at 12 on Wednesdays is actually students from Berkeley School of Music who be sitting out there and playing music. So that should be cool. So we're now back on the fourth floor of the IHQ. The meeting earlier was on the seventh and there's more open workspace on the fifth and sixth. But this is open workspace for general sandbox teams, any of the teams that are in the incubator program. So I'm pretty much here uh, nearly every day. I'm um, just working, got my laptop there. We've got monitors in the space. Um, yeah, I've, I've gone pretty used to just working with the monitor and my laptop as I develop. Um, but yeah. Now I'm pretty much just going to be coding for the rest of the afternoon. Um, I, can, I can give you a little tour. So on the top left panel, we've got my development server, which is running Python and Flask. This is just the terminal I'm using to sync files between my laptop and the development servers. So I've got three different ones. Um, so that's the first one. The second one here is a web scraper that I wrote in Scrapey, also Python. And then lastly, in this corner, We've got my feed recommendation engine. Um, essentially, I'm building some form of a social network slash news app, so I do kind of need all of that stuff to make the whole system work. Um, obviously, to code, I cannot code without Stack Overflow. Huge shout out to them. So I've got Chrome open in the middle here, and then an iPhone simulated for development. And then Android Studio, because I'm coding in Flutter cross-platform for the app that I'm working on. So yeah, that is pretty much what we got on my screen. Also, this is probably a really good time to let you guys know that a sub to the channel would be much appreciated. So go ahead, hit that subscribe button. Hopefully more videos coming out soon. I'll be sure to keep in touch with you guys. Shout out. Okay, so now it's 4.30. I ended up deciding to edit a really old YouTube video I recorded, so hopefully that should be up soon. But Sandbox is hosting an entrepreneurship mixer, so I'm about to head over to that. Y'all can come along with me. see the mixer is still going on behind me it is now about 7 p.m um yeah it's been incredible i've gone to speak to a lot of vc what, what are they called investors a lot of vc people we'll call them vc people a lot of vc people a lot of entrepreneurs uh, which has been really cool to get different perspectives chat about what i'm working on and hear about what other people are working on but yeah this has pretty much been my day i'm about to be on my way back to the house probably gonna chill probably gonna continue to work it has been an incredible day um pretty pretty irregular summer day not every day is like this but like because it's the summer it's like whatever's happening i just show out to and it's been it's been a pretty good good experience um yeah what else what else what else am i thinking about 
yeah i pretty much got nothing else to say this has been my day during the summer 2022 hope to see you guys soon